，大家好，是你们最喜欢的辅导老师贝欧没有老师。贝老师，好久不见。啊、um, ，今天我们来做什么呢 ？What are we gonna do？ 我们来看生日晚会，生日晚会第十四课的一些语法。So good to see you guys. It's been a good minute. So we're gonna 复习一下 ，review some stuff in lesson fourteen. Let's get into it. So 今天我们来做什么呢 ？What are we gonna do？ 呃、um, ，第一个是呃，正在什么什么呢？这是第一个语法。那第二个是、嗯、英语是 verbal phrases and subject predicate phrases and use of such predicates. But、uh, it's not all. This. Let's just get into it. 好的，第一个正在什么什么呢 ？This means currently in the middle of doing. Um, the no is optional. And we worked with "zai" before, so uh, 正在 is right now. 正 is kind of like right.、Um, fun fact: 正 this character is used to do、um, tally marks. So if I have this here, it can be like, oh, team one one point, team two one point, team three two points, two points. Like so, then you fill the 正 instead of our little tally marks. That's fun. I just thought that was cute. When I learned that, I thought that was fun. Anyways, zheng, right now.、Um, so we're making an emphasis on the progressive and the ongoing,、um, the aspect of the action that we're talking about. So zai goes before the verb. Ah,、uh, 我在学习 I'm studying now, as opposed to 我学习 I study. Ah,、uh, 我正在学习 I was right now in the middle of studying. It was a progressive action. Right. Right now, in the middle of doing, so 我正在学习 No, like no, it goes after the verb. It's just kind of something we sprinkle in there for some some fun. Now, 我们来看两个例子例子 examples. 第一个，你找嗯嗯，你找什么呢？你正在找什么 ？What are you ah、uh, looking for? Um, so, 你找什么呢 You're looking for what? 你在找什么呢 What are you looking for now at this moment? 你正在找什么呢 What is it that you're looking for in this moment? So, like, they're all sort of showing a similar thing, but it's just small nuances. All right. So let's look at three examples, three uses.、Um, Situations in which you can use this grammar structure. So, 第一个是 coincidences, things that happen at the same time. Um,、uh, 你给我打电话的时候，我正在跟我妈妈说话呢。你给我打电话的时候，我正在跟我妈妈说话呢。As um,、uh, this is basically setting like a context. Coincidence in terms of like coinciding. Actions or situations. So, um, 你给我打电话 that's one thing that's going on, and 我呃、uh, 跟我妈妈说话 is the other thing that's going on. So, like how we would say when I was talking to my mom, um, or when you gave me a call, I was talking to my mom. As I was, um. As I was talking to my mom, you gave a call. We have different、um, prepositions that can do similar things.、Um, so this is just one of the ways that you can use this.、Uh, the other one, refusal. So let's look at this quick dialogue and see what happens. The other one, they say, "Oh, you want to go out to play basketball?" And the second person says, "Oh, it seems like it's fun." 但是我正在写功课，我正在写功课。嗯、um, ，Do you want to go out and play ball or whatever? I mean, that sounds great. 听起来很好，好玩 ，sounds fun. 但是我正在写功课。This would be different than. 但是我写功课。But I do homework. It's like okay, like 我听得懂。但是我正在写功课。You're interrupting my process of doing my homework. Sharing 功课 Let's use my mix. Okay, and you already see it's been spoiled. Imperative. So, 别唱歌唱的那么大声
我的孩子正在睡觉呢。别唱歌唱的那么大声。Don't 唱歌唱的 ，remember 啊、um, ，唱的的。We can then go ahead and、um, describe how that action over here is being done. 唱的那么 showing the degree, right? 那么大声 So 声音 is sound. 声音 So 大 big sound. 大声 loud. 别唱歌唱的那么大声 Don't sing with such a loud voice. Don't sing so loudly. 为什么呢我的孩子正在睡觉。My kid is asleep. So not, never catch these hands. Okay. Oh, 气死我了，气死我了。We love this. 气死我了。Um, you remember 生气，生气 ，angry. So you also had 死 as a um as a um. As an indicator of extremity, right? So, 气死我了 You've angered me so much. You make me so mad. 气死我了很常用的说法 Okay, and the second one that we have is verbal phrases and subject predicate phrases used as attributives. So, we just break that down.、Um, Attributives. We never say this like that, but attributes. You know, when we study Chinese, they try to get away from just saying like adjectives because in English that has a set way of being. So they say attributives, like things that show some attributes of the thing, because it's not the same part of speech. So let me just turn to what the book says. In Chinese, attributives. Often followed by the particle de, always appear before the elements that they modify or describe.、Uh, verbs, verbal phrases, and subject-object phrases can all serve as attributives. So to get away from the very you know linguistical grammatical way, I say it's really just not all that. We just put what do we want to say about it in front, and then de. Actually, if you think about this word "that," that's exactly what we would be doing. The food that I eat, or the things I eat, really, this, the things that I eat, 吃的东西，吃的东西 to eat things, things that I eat, 吃的东西 and we often sort of say 吃的有吃的吗 You have something to eat. Same thing here. 穿的衣服 to wear. Clothes, clothes that are worn, clothes that are to wear, the clothes you wear. And in Chinese, because so many things are like um, um, based on the context, and this can mean a host of things depending on where it is in the sentence.、Um, so the subject is not in it here, but you get the idea. Chuan de yi fu. Um, 那第三个呢，买的飞机票。飞机票 is the main thing. Let me just use this one so I don't mark up this thing. 飞机票 is the main thing, and all the things we want to say.、Um, the tickets you buy, 买的飞机票 or 我买的飞机票 the one that I bought, the one that I buy. We wouldn't say 飞机票我买的嗯我买的飞机票第四个去年拍的照片 ，so now we're like elongating it, adding more things in just one verb or a color or adjective or different things. 去年 a time frame, last year, 拍 taken 的照片 picture. So what's the main thing? The picture that, if we want to really translate like that, that was taken last year. Last year taken photo. 去年拍的照片。第五个。大家讨厌的人 ，remember， 哦，讨厌，我讨厌你 ，I can't stand you for nothing。大家 ，everybody， 讨厌的人 ，the subject， 人 ，person that everybody hates。第六个，我们最喜欢的辅导老师，我最喜欢的辅导老师，是不 ？What is the subject？ 老师。And then, if we want to have the whole one, 
辅导老师 ，the tutor teacher， 辅导老师。So the tutor that the 你们最喜欢，你们 you all 最 the most 喜欢 like。你们最喜欢 ，so even here when we look at this, we can see that 最喜欢 is a verb, right? To like the most, but that's where we talk about in Chinese, like things are so flexible and able to move around because this whole thing right there becomes an attributive. It's not an adjective, but it's a whole phrase to describe 辅导老师 Which then operates like an adjective in English. So, yeah, we love that. And remember that yo and meio are also verbs, and that you can use it to then、um, put it in front. So as we said, verbal phrases, yo and meio. It's like yo qian de ren, a person that has money. So let's continue on and see what we can do with that. Prepared? Good. We're going to practice a little bit. Okay. First, let's work with Guo from a minute ago. So,、um, Guo, the first question is: You've been to which countries? Which countries? Which cities? This is very open-ended. So. If you're asking me, 我去过中国，我也去过嗯韩国啊。Uh, 我去过的城市有嗯北京，中国北京，也有韩国仁川，仁川是仁川，还有首尔，首尔是 Seoul。嗯嗯，第二个问题，你吃过地道的中国菜吗？有哪些？我因为我去过中国，所以我当然吃过地道的中国菜。那你们呢？我最喜欢的地道的中国菜是烤鸭。你们吃过烤鸭吗？非常好吃。OK， 零一什么什么就什么什么。Let's look at this. So first one was 老师。Starts class and gives us a test. How do we put it in this structure? As soon as one, then the second. 答案是 the answer is 老师一上课就给我们考试。第二个问题呢？我的室友 as soon as ends class immediately goes to play ball. 啊，我的室友一下课就去打球。All right, and for this one, let me know what were you in the middle of doing? Why couldn't you help me out? So respond. Ah,、uh, 第一个你可以帮我洗碗吗 ？One is both one. W A N third term. 你可以帮我洗碗吗 ？And this is your excuse. Is why, but please provide one. 第二个，你为什么昨天没有上中文课？你为什么？昨天没有上中文课 ，and this a more valid excuse. Please provide. Ah,、uh, with the second ones, um, see if you can find it. See if you can translate these out for me. The dog that everyone likes, and the beverage that does not have fruit. Work on some of those sentences. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.